Hello everyone, welcome back to D&D and Me, and we are on the Marid, continuing the genie of the 5th edition Monster Manual. Uh, the Marid are the water elementals. Uh, these things are pretty much... They look like fish, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. They really do. I just went to the gas by accident. They just look like fish. It's... it's... Looking at the picture of this just makes it kind of funny, honestly. Uh, but, getting straight into the lore. Hailing for the elemental plane of water, the Marids are the most wondrous of genie kind. Although all genies wield great power, even the lowliest Modred sees itself as clearly superior to the flighty Jinn, the ground-hugging Dao, and the fuming Ifrit. Large Epicene? Pisene? I don't know the word. Marid... Marids? Marids are strange sight to behold, particularly when clad in the finest stitched vests and colorful pantaloons a favor. They speak in voices as soft as the sea breeze or as sonorous sonorous? I don't know that word. Uh, as storm waves breaking against a rocky cliff. In flight, they lower bodies transform to columns of foamy water. Water lords. Water in the Marid's native element and the genie can manipulate Oh, wow, I completely misread that. Water is a Marid's native element and the genie can ma manipulate water in virtually any way it desires. A Marid can walk on water and breathe naturally beneath its surface. It can create water or shape clouds of fog and mist from the vapor in the air. It can even transform itself into mist or use water as a weapon to bludgeon its foes. I assume so. Marid homes. Marids are rare on the material plane. They inhabit mighty majestic coral fortresses located in the elemental plane of water. These citadels float in the depths of the plane and contain opulent, air-filled chambers where slaves and guests reside. Amar doesn't expect much from its slaves, simply wanting to have them for the status of ownership. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. Marids go out of their way to obtain skilled slaves and aren't even above kidnapping mortal artists, uh, entertainers, or storytellers for the use in their courts. That's kind of fucked. Egotistical hierarchs. All Marids claim the title of nobility, and the race is awash in shahs, sultans, muf muftis, and khedives. I, I apologize if I say these wrong. Uh... Most of these titles are mere pretense on the part of their self-important marids. Marids tr treat all others, including other genies, as inferiors of various grades, ranging from poor cousins to the petty annoyances. They tolerate Jinn, dislike Dao, and despise Ifrit. Humanoids are among the lowest of the creatures uh, marids must tolerate, although they sometimes deal with powerful wizards and exceptional leaders on an almost equal footing. Doing so has sometimes proven to be a mistake, since wizards have managed to imprison marids in conch shells, flasks, and decanters over the ages. Bribery and flattery are the best means of dealing with Marids, to which an obsequence mortal is a creature that knows its place. Whimsical storytellers. Marids are ch yeah, champion tale takers. Fucking Jesus, I can't read. Tale tellers whose favorite legends emphasize the prowess of Marids in general and of the speaker in the particular fanciful genies. Oh wow, I read that as one sentence. Let me reread that sentence. Uh, the fucking hell am I? Mards are the champion tale tellers whose favorite legends emphasize the prowess of Mards in general and the sp and of the speaker in particular. That is a sentence. Fanciful genies, they lie often and creatively. They aren't always malicious in their deception, but embellishments suit their fancy. Mards considered a crime for a lesser being to interrupt one of their tales, and offending a merit is sure way to invoke its wrath. I just imagine it just like some guy sneezes and by accident he just fucking gets obliterated. Just like immediately fireballed or waterballed, I guess, in this sense. I just see it. Mm. All right. The Marred stats. They're large elementals, chaotic neutral. They have a natural armor class of 17, 229 average hit points, 17 d10 plus 136. Average speed of 30 feet, flight speed of 60 feet, and a swim speed of 90 feet. They have a strength of 22, plus 6, dexterity of 12, plus 1, constitution of 26, plus 8, intelligence 18, plus 4, wisdom 17, plus 3, and charisma 18, plus 4. Their proficient saving throws are dexterity, plus 5, wisdom 7, charisma 8, plus 4 to proficiency bonus. Damage resistances to acid, cold, and lightning. Their senses... Wow, they're not immune to any of those. Uh, senses are blind sight to 30 feet, dark vision to 120 feet, passive perception of 13. Languages are Aquan. I would say the same thing as the Efreed video. Probably has common also. Challenge rating 11, 7,200 experience points. 
they're amphibious, so they can breathe air and water. They have elemental demise. Uh, if the elemental dies, or the Marid dies, its body disintegrates into a burst of, burst of water and foam, leaving behind only equipment the Marid was wearing or carrying. It has innate spell casting. Spell casting ability is Charisma. Spell save DC is 16, plus 8 to hit with spell attacks. It can cast the following spells with no material components. At will, create or destroy water, detect good and evil, detect magic, fog cloud, and purify food and drink. Three times a day, tongues, water breathing, water walk. Once a day, conjure elemental, water obviously only, control water, gaseous form, invisibility, plane shift. It can make two trident attacks. It's a melee or a ranged attack, plus 10 to hit, reach of 5 feet, or 20 to 60 feet. Uh, hit is an average of 13 damage, 2d6 plus 6 piercing damage, or 15 average, 2d8 plus 6 piercing damage if used with two hands to make a melee attack. It has a water jet ability. The Mard magically shoots water in a 60 foot line that is 5 feet wide. Each creature in that line must make a DC 16 dexterity saving throw. On a failure, a target must take 21 average, 66 bludgeoning damage, and if it's huge or smaller, it is pushed up to 20 feet away from the Mard and knocked prone. On a success, it takes half the bludgeoning damage, but neither pushed nor knocked prone. And that is the end of the genies and the end of the Marid uh, video. So thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below if there's anything else that you would like me to do on this channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.